Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, Church, I'm sure you all heard about this Muslim ban and everything that's going on. Um, it's, it's crazy, and me personally, I haven't really decided which side of the fence I land on because I can kind of see the points from both sides. You know, these refugees are f fleeing, you know, war-torn countries and everything, and I can understand that. And, you know, they need a, place, a safe place to go. Then I can also see the other side of it where people are like, you know, if we can't vet these people, we can't screen them properly. You know, we don't want another San Bernardino where this crazy lady gets in because, you know, our vetting system failed to check fucking Facebook. So I can kind of see the points from both sides. What I do find interesting in this whole matter is that there seems to be people so quick to argue a side instead of a point. Now, let me explain this to you. A couple weeks ago, we've had this wonderful movement of all these women marching and, you know, they're marching for women's rights and to make sure that their rights are at the forefront and make sure they can keep all the rights that they are guaranteed and all this wonderful, great stuff. But then a week after that, they're out there marching to bring in people into the country who may want to suppress women's rights. Now, let's make no you know, mistake about this. Certain Muslims, some Muslims, and it's definitely from these countries that were on the, put on a ban list, they don't believe in women's rights. They just don't. You know, you don't have the right to vote or you shouldn't have the right to vote. You don't have the right to certain things that normal people, Americans, would want to have or should have. So... To say that these people need to come in, you know, because all this great arguments that you have, at the same time, these people want to suppress your rights, it just counters your fucking argument. You can't argue for women's rights and then bring in people who want to pretty much say, you have no fucking rights. We treat you like cattle. You know, if you look at another man wrong, we can stone you to death. If... You know, you get if you get raped, uh, you know, because they love to argue about rape culture. If you get raped, we don't blame the man. We blame you and we kill you. Now, these are their beliefs. And I'm not really making this shit up. You can actually look at it and research it. These are some of their beliefs. So if we can't vet these people to get out the crazy ones who may want to stone his wife to death or beat his wife because she mouthed off or whatever the case may be, then, you know, maybe we should put a fucking halt to it. And again... These people, and I'm not, you know, unfortunately it's Democrats, you know, I don't want to say the whole progressive movement because I can't speak on all of them, but there are quite a few of these people who, again, they're arguing a side instead of a point. Trump does something, immediately is bad, we must argue it. But if you just take two seconds to look at what the argument is or what you're trying to counter, it makes no fucking sense. They're the first people to stand up and say, oh, well, gay people need rights, gay people need rights. And these people are in countries or these people are coming from countries who feel like it is okay to execute someone for being gay. How do you, how can you ever make an argument that you are for gay rights and then bring in people who want to kill people for being gay? Again, you're arguing a side instead of a point. If your point is gay rights, maybe it's okay to keep people out who feel we can execute you. We can throw you off a building. We can cut your head off if you decide to happen to like the same sex. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Another thing that I find really interesting is that anyone who ever comes out and dares say that they're for the ban or, you know, the ban makes sense, immediately they're just labeled. They're labeled, you know, a racist or a bigot or whatever they want to call them. And just for the fucking record for the last time. Please stop calling people racist for not liking or going against Muslims. Muslim is not a fucking race. Neither are Mexicans. Okay? So can we please put that? Can we please stop calling people racist who are in favor of the, the Muslim ban? Okay, sorry. I got sidetracked. But again, back to my original point. People have concerns. People have legitimate concerns. You don't think they're legitimate? Well, ask fucking France. Have you heard about the shit that was going on there and may still be going on that may not hit our news waves? Have you heard about fucking Germany and all the, you know, the, the wonderful sexual assault that's been happening in there? And I'm not calling all of them rapists, but uh, apparently they have a, a wonderful rise, a wonderful spike in sexual assault since they started allowing refugees in. Now, again, these are the same people who will flip the fuck out if a girl gets touched inappropriately on a college campus, but now we want to let all these refugees in with pretty much no way to check them or very, very limited way of checking them and just hope for the fucking best. Because again, they want to argue a side. And their side is, Trump is evil, we must go against him. And, and, and fuck everything else. I, it makes no sense. 
I don't think I'm, I'm, again, I'm not saying I'm for it. I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm just saying I understand both sides of the argument. And maybe if you just took five fucking seconds to look at the other side of the argument, it will start to make sense to you. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'm out.